Good morning, how are you doing? Oh, this filming setup is such a dream. I have literally been so excited to have these finished, to fully like reveal them in a vlog to you so I can just like fully sit in this like little spot here and just, oh. It's like my dream wardrobes, but also my dream like vlogging backdrop. They're just so pretty. They add a nice bit of texture to the background. Like I didn't realize until I watched an old video back last night how boring sitting here had been when there was just like a blank wall there. Oh, I can't tell you how happy I am with these wardrobes. They just make my heart race. Mm, stunning. So today, ooh, I need, a, I need a proper brush. I lost my other hairbrush, so excuse the weird hairbrush. So today I am just at home, a nice little home day. I am at that point in the year where I'm about to go into like cute, cozy hibernation season. And I'm really excited for that. Like I think the Christmas parties are just about to finish or by the time you see this, I think the Christmas parties for me will have wrapped, like the worky ones. The really luxe, like glam ones, not the like cute, cozy ones with like friends and family, but still got all that to come, of which I think you'll be seeing a fair bit of this Christmas, if you know what I mean. But anyway, spoilers, what was I gonna say? I'm actually a bit sad that festive party season is almost over because it's just been a dream this year, an absolute dream. I really enjoyed getting glam and wearing like super gorgeous things. However, I am so excited to just fully be in like cozy clothing mode and just lovely like feeling clothing mode and things that are soft, things that are silky. On that note, this video is going to contain a paid for integrated partnership with Lily Silk. I'm super excited to unbox some things with you this afternoon. But yeah, I'm also fully in what do we want to call it? Like not nesting mode because that sounds a bit strange. Oh, there's a very tight ponytail I've gone for today. I wanted like, it's hair wash day. So I wanted like a glam little ponytail that's like glossy and like wavy. What do we think? I don't know, maybe I should have left it down, but I need to be an egg today because it's hair wash day. Anyway, I'm also in homey, wholesome mode. So I'm really excited to be home uh, a little bit this week and just sort my life out, get cozy, make everything really homey and nice ready for Christmas. I'm really not sure what we're doing yet this year, but I might be hosting, which is, is my hair okay? Yeah, it's fine, yeah. Um, which is slightly overwhelming, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, I want everything to be super nice ready for that. So everything just in order, obviously the house is now ready for guests again, but I just want everything to look polished and things to be neat and tidy and right now I've got an office which I won't even show you because it's chaotic but I also really want to have a sort through the wardrobe rooms and my wardrobes and just have a little bit of a zhuzh, a declutter, the winter wardrobe like switch over is is definitely needed right now. And I'm also doing a bit of a personal style audit as well. I've been looking back over the years at what I feel suits me best, what I've kept, what I rewear the most. And I, next year I'm going to be making a lot of changes based on the data that I have collected from about 10 years worth of YouTube. But I'll probably talk you through that a little bit later. I still need to like fully collect my thoughts. I haven't, I've got it all in my head, but I haven't actually talked to anyone about it out loud yet. But I think I know what I'm gonna do with like my wardrobe going forward. I actually know I did tell one of my friends my plan uh, for like rejigging my wardrobe and my personal style and avoiding more mistakes. And she laughed at me because uh, she thinks I'm doing the impossible, but I'll talk to you about that later. But for now, we successfully have a cute, swishy little ponytail. Let's make a hot drink and sit down and unbox some things together. Also, before I forget, I wanted to take a moment for my lip color today because so many of you loved the um, Armani lip color that I was wearing last, in my last vlog or maybe the vlog before. I'm so happy so many of you loved it because when I looked back at all of the photos and the footage, I was like, that is a really good lip color. And so many of you agreed. I hadn't even said anything, but you were like that lip color. However, if you prefer a matte lipstick, we need to take a moment for this because it's basically the same kind of tone, but in a matte formula. This is one of the new NARS Power Matte. I think that's what they're called, Power Matte Lipsticks. Yeah, and it's in the shade Sweet Disposition and it's just a really beautiful, like nudie, mauve pink. It's really stunning. Um, I've actually been wearing this 
a lot lately. I really like it. So I will link that in the info box if you are interested in getting your hands on that. And if you like the look of the Armani lipstick from the last vlog, but you prefer a matte formula, I would highly recommend this. Okay, me and the little shrimp down here are gonna take you through some of the pieces that i picked up from lily silk they very kindly offered for me to pick out some pieces and they have the nicest quality items so i just couldn't say no like i said this is a paid for integrated advertorial with them but i'm so excited to be working with them i mentioned recently and i think i've mentioned a few times before i use their silk pillowcases religiously they are the best silk pillowcases not only for how they feel but the shade range of them is just incredible as well like their white shade is just perfect i absolutely love it i use them religiously i have two that i just switch out on rotation so i've been a big fan of their pillowcases for a good couple of years now but they also do the most incredible range of clothing so they do like gorgeous cashmere pieces and lovely silk items as well and everything is made from like natural fibers so the cashmere is mongolian cashmere so it's very sustainable all of their packaging <laughs> All of their packaging is reusable and recyclable as well, which is lovely. And it's really lovely packaging. I'll show you in a sec. Oh, that's all good. It's so hot. So yeah, lovely brand, lovely pieces. And I'm so excited, like so genuinely, I've been waiting for a day that I have free so that I could sit down and unbox this with you. I've been so excited to actually get these pieces out of the box and try them on because it's been a good couple of days since they arrived. So without further ado, let's get into it. But can we just take a moment for this packaging? It's so nice. So these are the little recyclable envelopes so that you can choose for your items to come in or they do a really gorgeous gift packaging as well the envelopes come in like lots of different sizes i really love that packaging it feels really cool like oh love that and then this is the gift packaging which is just so cute the red silky bow is a really lovely touch and it's giving it's giving christmas oh i actually i'm actually am i getting excited for christmas i feel it bubbling and i'm like am i okay i'm not sure that's a very good question Let's move on. Not me hunting for the box that I think has a gorgeous piece of knitwear in. I am fully in that mode. Oh my god, the colour, the colour of this. I'm so, I'm so ready to unbox this. Oh, gorgeous. Right. Oh, wow. Look at, oh my god, look at this, you guys. Oh my god, look at this, you guys. This is... Oh my god, obsessed oh it's got a lovely high neck i'm gonna like just borrow in this it's stunning oh my god the quality is incredible well this needs to go on right away i'm just gonna do a big old trial and we're gonna go straight into it i'm not gonna sit here the whole time i'm so excited to try this on <laughs> oh my gosh you guys she is warm and she is cozy she is stunning and i'm not talking about me i'm obviously talking about the jumper it feels absolutely gorgeous it's a wool knit I just think it is stunning. I'm wearing it with a pair of vegan faux leather trousers right now, but you could equally swap them out um, for a pair of like skinnier, like jeans or trousers, which um, I will show you in a second. Cause I kind of want to see what this looks like with like a pair of tall boots and a pair of trousers, like a lovely streamlined silhouette on the bottom. I want to see what that looks like. So we're going to try that in a second. Um, I do have a discount code, by the way, if you want to pick up any of these pieces. I mean, we're off to a great start. Would highly recommend. You're going to see me wearing this so much. Like it's going to be one of those items that you might get a bit sick of, but it's so stunning. What do you guys think? Let me know. But yeah, let's try it on with something skinnier on the bottom. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes love this is just such a lovely easy to wear every day but really pulled together outfit like just one of those outfits that will make me feel 10 out of 10 with very minimal effort and it's just so comfy and so warm and so cozy as well oh obsessed i just think it's like the perfect easy everyday little outfit what do you guys think this jumper is just an absolute winner for me i cannot wait to try on the rest let's go it just keeps getting better next up we have this gorgeous silk shirt which i'm not wearing on its own i actually have a pair of shorts underneath and these are also from lily silk they are just 
stunning. I don't think I'd actually wear it loose like this. I want to um, tuck the shirt into the shorts, but I just wanted to show you the shirt first. It is honestly beyond stunning. This material is just gorgeous. Full disclosure, I steamed everything because I hate showing you things with creases. The few creases that I did have, it just dropped out. Their stuff, Lily Silk items are beautiful to steam. I'm so impressed with the fit as well. I can't remember what size, let me check what size I got everything in. Okay, everything is in a small, aside from the knit that I just showed you. I got that in a medium because I wanted it to just be like lovely and loose and flowy and then the shorts i'm wearing now are in a size eight so for reference that's what size i'm wearing and everything but yeah i really want to see what this looks like oh yeah oh my god that's so gorgeous you know me i love an all black outfit and this is just such a gorgeous soft breathable combination they're both silk i also think this shirt would look gorgeous with just like a black pair of skinny trousers black boots i also think gold jewelry like that's a little bit chunky is a must if you're wearing an all black outfit it just really helps it to pop but i also think that these shorts would look amazing with like a white shirt as well so i'm going to show you what that looks like too so this is the white silk shirt with the black shorts it's so gorgeous and i think it would be lovely with a gorgeous pair of simple black heels this is like a nice kind of date night outfit for the minimalist girlies out there that don't really like anything too crazy oh my god yes so pretty so simple so minimal these shorts are also amazing as well because they have an elasticated back so if your body is longer or your legs are longer um, and you want to wear these a little bit lower you can but if your body is shorter like mine you can also wear them like around the waist and they fit beautifully honestly i'm so in love with these such a gorgeous little outfit combo <laughs> what do you think of this let me know whenever i do like a white shirt and like black bottoms people always scream work wear at me but if i was wearing this at Booper, i would have been sent home so i don't know about everybody else but i personally love like a white shirt with a black pair of shorts or a black skirt i just think it's such a nice classic combo and if you hate the idea of the white shirt being worn with the black shorts i give you white shirt leather trousers which is one of my favorite looks from earlier in the year especially paired with these trainers they are just these were a very firm favorite of mine earlier in the year if you remember i love them i think they're great at really casualing an outfit down but without making it look too casual and too undone cute slouchy black bag i would also probably wear my hair down for this and loose and wavy and just have it look really like undone however we've already assessed that it is hair wash day so i'm not going to do that but um yeah i would just undo a little button just make this look look a little bit less polished okay guys what do we think of this one it's a little bit of a wild one for me but i thought it was gorgeous and would be a really lovely addition to my wardrobe for like events christmas parties this is actually a little two-piece so you have this gorgeous silk shirt which has like a lot of kind of structure pockets it's got like a military vibe to it and then you've got the gorgeous silky trousers on the bottom which kind of have that balloon shape as it gets to the ankle which i think is so nice it also has an elasticated hem which i've just rolled up so it caters for my height but you still get that gorgeous like balloon pant shape the shirt it comes with this gorgeous little waist belt though you could add your own um, and i kind of want to try that and see what it looks like so i have quite a thick black waist belt which i think would be really gorgeous and it's got like gold detailing on it which i think would work really nicely with the chunky gold jewelry the black and gold bag i think the trousers would be gorgeous on their own as well you could wear them with just like a really beautiful black knit white shirt there's so much versatility to be honest there's so much versatility in all of these items but um yeah the trousers could work with so many different outfits as well even for just when you're like around the house they're really lovely and comfortable and the shirt could also work really nicely with a pair of black skinny trousers as well my go-to but yeah gonna try a different belt Ooh, that i love okay great love that this shirt 
comes with the belt loops already so you literally don't need to worry about anything slipping around or anything i actually love this okay what do we think i think it's gorgeous it's definitely something you could wear for any kind of smarter occasion whether it is a party and you could add lots of really gorgeous jewelry like something really big and sparkly or something very big and gold <laughs> and chunky or you could make it look very workwear and professional but still like look really really gorgeous and super chic i also think the trousers will work really beautifully with a black cashmere roll neck this is also in my lily silk order and let me tell you guys it feels incredible like i've had to hide this from shrimpy because anything really soft she will like start making a nest in and i obviously want this to stay nice oh my god this is just the most gorgeous feeling jumper i think i've ever owned it is literally the most softest thing i think i own so i got this in a size small and it's actually not super super fitted so it's gonna be like a i think more of a regular fit so as you can see not crazy fitted but i think that allows it to just be super comfortable and a really great everyday essential in your winter wardrobe oh my god this feels so nice i think i may live in this this winter this is just Stunning. Me again, back for one last try on. I just tried it on with a pair of skinny trousers and these gorgeous boots, which I'm just obsessed with. You guys will know if you've watched the previous vlogs, I just love them. I think they break up like an all black outfit really beautifully, but I just really like the jumper, just tucked in a little bit to a black skinny. It is just so nice. It just slouches perfectly. That is it from me. I need to tidy up the giant mess I've just made playing about with all of my shoes and bags and trying everything on as if things weren't crazy enough as it is I've just gonna made a mess on top of a mess cool I have one more thing I forgot this was so nice of them they didn't have to do this but this is one of the silk pillowcases and oh my goodness these pillowcases are just honestly the best I'm actually about to do a wash so I'm gonna throw this in and then I can have a nice fresh lily silk pillowcase on my bed these are just gorgeous they feel incredible and the color range that they come in is just so stunning you will absolutely find a pillowcase color to go with your bedding but anyway uh my mum's about to come around uh um my bedroom looks a mess so i'm going to tidy it now and i will check in with you guys in a little bit love you everybody it is sunday it's brunch day i have just been for brunch uh in hove which was very nice wearing my little lily silk jumper i am obsessed with this i have literally worn it so much and it is the perfect thing to wear this morning because i am so so tired honestly i had a party that my dad was throwing last night that i went to and honestly i just need to go and sleep at this point like getting up for brunch this morning was very very painful but now i am just gonna have a very chilled sunday i need to wash my hair so badly um i'm just gonna chill make a pasta bake tidy my house have a nice wholesome day it's gonna be great <laughs> today look at the little tail go Good morning everybody i look a bit silly this morning i washed my hair last night and normally it behaves when i wash it 
did it want to behave this week when I need to vlog today? No. And uh, my sweepy bits, they just, they love to sit like this, but then it makes my hairline and forehead look not great. So it's a little trick. I like pull the hair forward and then I just clip it and I try and get it as like straight forward as I can. Basically like that, essentially. And uh, use the weight to pull the hair forward. So if you have a hairline that likes to misbehave, that's how I try and tackle it. But yeah, first day hair, another one. Another one. I think these curls will probably drop out quite nicely, but annoyingly I'll probably look nice at about seven o'clock this evening when I'm done vlogging. Today, I need to stop touching this. Um, today I am going to have a little wardrobe zhuzh. It is long overdue. I'm gonna start with my bedroom wardrobes and ease into the wardrobe room because the wardrobe room looks like a bomb's hit it as per usual. So I just need to have a little organised, put things away, tidy up. It's just been quite chaotic over the last couple of months, I'm sure you can imagine. So um, yeah, I need to just have, that was really loud, well, um, need to just have a little tidy, but I also just want to go through and streamline a little bit. My seasonal streamline, we love it. I will try and put bits on my Depop, but it might take a while because things are just a bit crazy right now. Uh, my friend that helps me run my Depop as well, she is currently snowed under with work. Basically every single friend I have has a really busy time this time of year. So we're all just kind of like ducks underwater. What is that? Like a duck on water, like chilling on top and then underneath like, someone please help me. So it might take a little while to get stuff onto Depop, um, so do bear with me. I am gonna have a little zhuzh, a little declutter, nothing crazy. Um, I don't find I need to have like huge crazy clear outs like I used to back in the day anymore. Oh, it's gone really bright. That's not cute. I hate being washed out. However, I do think it's good to just go through and be like, am I wearing this? Have I worn this recently? Am I still loving this? If not, needs to go to a better home rather than just like taking up vital real estate in my wardrobe. I also need to have a try on a bit. The lighting's gone funny again. Sorry. Um, I also need to have a little try on of some things because I think I've got a lot of pairs of jeans that don't fit. So we're gonna have a little zhuzh, just go through, take out anything that I'm just like not vibing with right now. I do feel like my style is just tweaking slightly or not my style. My style still feels the same. Um, if anything, I feel like I have a, st a stronger sense of my style and a clearer sense of my style than ever. Um, basically just all black everything as per the way it has always been. So it's actually not necessarily a change, but I feel very sure of my style at the moment. And I do think there's a few bits in my wardrobe that I am just not loving. I definitely am gravitating more towards like quality pieces at the moment. One of you even said to me recently, I, like, I don't know why you shop on the high street anymore because you're never happy with like the quality. And yeah, that comment spoke to me. <laughs> Obviously it's my job to critique things, but I'm definitely more focused now on the quality. Like you you will have seen over the past month. This time of year, I re-wear old items more than ever because the quality of the high street pieces I was buying years ago is so much better than the quality that I am seeing now. And I think that's definitely been changing the way I shop recently. Like I just only wanna wear nice feeling clothes, like this jumper, this jumper is gorgeous. My nicer quality jumpers that I own, I, especially like cashmere and like the wool ones, I just haven't taken off over the past couple of weeks when I'm just like chilling, not wearing like fancy things. It's all I want to wear. So that's what I'm kind of gonna have in mind when I'm going through my wardrobe and giving it its little zhuzh, is like, uh, do I really love this piece? Am I really happy with the quality? And does it fit? Because like I said, I think there's a lot of pairs of jeans right now that are just not, they look all for me. I really, after Christmas, after like, you know, eat all the food season, we are, that made it look like something else, but I'm talking about like my bloated little belly after I've had like a lot of bread. Um, after Christmas season and be, me being a pig in a blanket season, we are, we are gonna have a jeans denim hunt because I, 
I, I hate a lot of my jeans right now. Like they just don't fit. They don't look good on me. Um, I don't even know what style of jeans I really like. So that's something that I definitely need to like think about over the next month or so. So not rushing into it. Um, but it's definitely something annoyingly that I need to do. And it's like my least favorite thing. I feel like I need to do it in person because I just, I really can't be bothered. I need to, I need like a big personal shopping appointment. I need to like get all the different brands in front of me because to do it and order it to your home it just, and then send so much stuff back. I don't, I don't really want to do that. So that's definitely going to be something that I do, um, potentially in the new year. So I'll bring you along on that journey. Mm. Can't wait. Love jean shopping so much. <laughs> I look so washed out today. This lighting is doing absolutely nothing for me. Anyway, oh, this is so much better. I mean, my arm would have fallen off if I'd been like this for like eight minutes, but so much cuter. Anyway, let's go get my wardrobe a zhuzh. Okay, we're back. We had a small intermission because I had to deal with some things that came up. But we're here. Let's see where we're at. To be honest, this wardrobe is not going to need like a lot of doing because I've just taken all of my favorite stuff out of my other room and put it into this closet. Um, also, yes, still waiting on baskets and everything. So the storage uh, is not being utilized very well here, I'm aware. So I think all of my blazers are classics. I am going to keep all of them. Coats and jackets, absolutely fine. I've got my shirts here. I'm happy with all of those. And then we've got t-shirts over here happy with those now down here we've got a lot of pairs of jeans which need seeing too wide leg and wide leg and mum are fine because both of them run small so they fit well wide leg pair of jeans oh the cute sparkly jeans we can keep those oh, there's another blue wider leg pair of jeans basically it's all the blue wide leg pairs of jeans that are very ill-fitting around the waist and then we've got a pair of split hem straight leg blue jeans which i love and fits super well and then a pair of wider leg blue jeans they're a darker color weirdly and they fit much better those can go back in as can these and then we have black cargo trousers i wore these for a shoot i haven't worn them since so i'm gonna have a look at those all leather trousers they can stay who knows if i clear enough stuff i might actually be able to give all of these leather trousers their own hangers skinny trousers they're staying my new black trousers they can stay however my old black trousers need to go that's why i got the new black trousers because these do not fit well around the waist and i also took them up and they're too short that's not really a problem because i could undo that but they just don't they fit so awkwardly around the waist now they're not they're so loose at the waist but then they're not wide enough to be worn on my hip so they don't look good these are going to go on the same hanger that my waistcoat sits on i like to do this if i have a pair of trousers that matches one of my waistcoats i just hang them together here's one i made earlier so keeping all of my pinstripe trousers, because I love those. I'm going to keep my brownie gray pair of trousers too. Then we've got my lily silk trousers and then my reformation trousers, which I love. All lovely things that fit well. Great. So black trousers are gonna go. The black cargo pants, which these are trousers that I wore for my podcast shoot. I'm going to try those on, see how I feel about them. This tag needs to come out of those. Then we've got these jeans, which are just not doing the damn thing at the moment. So I think I will put those on my Depop. And now I have four spare hangers, which I will not be telling Ryan about because then I'll have to share them with him. Now we're going to move on to the room with Doom. We are in the room of doom, which makes me very anxious. And you know what? I've realised that I just need to spend more time in here because all the rooms I actually spend time in never really end up looking a bit crazy. But this room always does because I don't spend any time in there. I'm excited to get into this wardrobe specifically because I don't go in here a lot. So I know that 
really a lot of it i could put into a black sack take to the charity shop and i would never think about it again uh which is not a good sign um so let's make a start shall we this cardigan loved it when i bought it but i just haven't worn it at all do you know what same with a lot of my long cardigans but i don't want to jump the gun too quick it's tricky though because if i'm not reaching for them do i keep them i'm just gonna i'm just gonna see i'll put them on the rail i'll give myself a few weeks and i'll see if i reach for them this one's a white company one it's really really soft so it will keep that but i do have a similar one from sunday Lux, which is also really lovely oh no i don't want to end up with two of things this trench coat i just haven't been wearing so that can go love these jackets but i actually didn't really wear them did i wear this one maybe i wore this one once over the autumn but i really haven't worn either of the shirt jackets this year and i can't remember how much wear i got out of them last year either but i'll, I'll hold on to them i'll hold on because i do really love them and yeah maybe now is just not the right time but i'll come back to them in like a month or so who knows i do love them i think if you love something you should keep hold of it even if you haven't worn it for a little bit love this linen blazer i am gonna keep that that was really fun just to wear with denim over the summer this i didn't reach for enough so i'm gonna pass that on i actually think my cousin would love that and she would look so cool in it so maybe i'll give it to her zara shirt jackets this one i haven't worn at all this year this one i have so that's my mind made up for me there linen suit i don't know i just don't know if i wear suits enough in the summer but then they are really cool for like evening events i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna i'm gonna see see how it goes i think i've made good progress so far anyway i can afford to like keep something i'm unsure on my balenciaga denim jacket what do we think i don't know i haven't worn it in a long time but i do think denim jackets like i just haven't been wearing denim jackets at all do you think you should always have like cool denim jackets and it is kind of cool same with this one really which my friend carla has been begging me to get rid of for about four years um but i love it so much and if i ever do a festival again which i can't see myself doing but never say never i would absolutely take this maybe they just need to go into the archive and not be like down with the main wardrobes it's a bit like all of my crazy events dresses that i only bring out like once a year and then i can just reach for them if i actually need them this i loved last autumn i'm gonna keep hold of this just because it is cute lots of leather jackets in varying lengths i'll get rid of those this little set i haven't worn in the longest time but i do love a little set like this like i have a gray one that i've been wearing this year and it's really cool but i just it makes me sad that this doesn't have a collar no i'm gonna hold on to it i'm gonna hold on to it i just love a suit set <laughs> this is my downfall they take up so much space as well because there's obviously two Items. do i want to keep this it's cute but i haven't worn it much recently i'm gonna put it on the rail i'm gonna do it i'm feeling ruthless and we've got some coats another suit you can go there that's not where you're meant to be and then we go into events dresses lots of fun things that i really love i'm gonna archive a few pieces because there's just like ones like this this was my 30th birthday dress i don't know if i'll wear it again this side of the year oh, it was such a fun dress though i think this is one that i would be more likely to get out for maybe like wedding season maybe i'll archive it until next spring <laughs> i have one wedding so which one of these am i gonna wear <laughs> there's so many options you can go in the archive you're more springy if it's more spring summer i'm going to archive it um and bring it out next summer just in case i have any events next summer i'm gonna depop this it's like a long velvet um like midi dress but i just i don't really wear midi dresses so much i'm a bit of an all or nothing girl i either want like floor length maxi or like a mini dress but this this is so beautiful i wore it in my christmas new year video last year but i i don't know i was meant to have a winter wedding this year 
and I was kind of planning on wearing it to that. But yeah, that's not happening, so I'm gonna deep up it. Then we've got a couple of dresses which are great for events. This is a Zimmerman dress, it's gorgeous. Um, great for like weddings, but also really good for if I'm filming like a makeup tutorial because when I film makeup stuff, I love something that's got a nice like upper half, but also a nice sleeve. Um, so this is great for that. And then I've also got this shirt dress, which is also amazing for stuff like that too. So keep those down here. Then we have a plain black mini dress, which you can never go wrong with a plain black mini dress. Then I'm gonna put some things in, which are top secret for about another week. But very fun, as you can see. So much space in here now, I'm gonna pop in my gorgeous self-portrait dress. <laughs> I love this. Honestly, probably one of my top th three favorite things in my wardrobe right now. Stunning. Sparkly dress of dreams because it's that time of year. So that can go in here as well. Crazy pink dress of dreams. I will link this in the info box for you guys in case anyone is interested, but the quality of these pieces is insane. I have something from them as well which I think is from a more recent collection and it is incredible. It's, honestly I can't wait to try it on, it's stunning but their their stuff is just gorgeous, like so so beautifully made. A little bit more expensive but I think it's worth it. They also do pyjamas. They do the cutest little satin feathery pyjamas. Another suit got my gorgeous house of cb top this is how i store it if anyone is wanting to get it but wondering what the effing hell you do with it um i just kind of fold the train over here and then down and through and that's the way to keep it like the least creasy obsessed with that great so we've got lots of room in here up the top and now my rail with my coats on is a lot more free because all of my event stuff isn't on it. So that is fab. Next, I'm just going through a lot of my sweatshirts because they need a big old clear out. There are some of my loungewear from lockdown is so grim now. Obviously lockdown started a long time ago and loungewear was literally all I wore. Oh, these are nice. I think these are like navy, is it cashmere? Navy cashmere joggers. They, they survived being so ruthless today. Like everything is going all of my novelty sweatshirts that i've had for years they've got to go wow so much space so the mountain of clothes that i was just making has now fallen over uh, and i'm going to be in here forever because i am fully barricaded in so we might as well crack on with the rest of the wardrobe. It's very full. I do not like this to be this full. It's not, it's not pleasing me. I can't lie. Um, where do I even start? Okay, let's start here because I can already see something that I haven't worn in like a bajillion years. Either of these knitted, like ribbed knit skirts. They're like midi skirts. Literally couldn't tell you the last time I wore them, so good start. Okay, we've got midi skirts, I wear those. My white trousers, love those. Black trousers, love those. Stripy trousers, they're looking a funny colour. Linen trousers, love. Nude trousers, love. Little summery tops. Linen tops, love those. Like, very happy with the top. I've got a lot of nice tops, happy with those cardigans and jumpers cute literally never wear this so that can go i just love a shirt they really are my downfall this one has seen better days it really has i need a new white shirt need a new white shirt i need to go and put that on my list love that one that one's a good summer one I really should be away with all of my summer stuff but it's fine this one i haven't worn it's literally so long i can't remember when i last wore it same with this one it's too cropped and too much string going on oh can't wait to wear this somewhere this is so fun love that black dress love that dress love that dress 
30th birthday dress. Love that dress. I have a bit of a problem. I have a problem with dresses. I can't keep all the dresses. Okay, I'm gonna move all of these dresses to the other wardrobe. And now I have a lot more space in here so my clothes can like breathe a little bit better. I hate when the two cram together. And we're back where we started this morning. Actually, I need to show you the finished result of my hot work today because the wardrobe room looks great. So I still have a little way to go, but it is looking so much better than it did earlier and everything is like super neat and tidy in the wardrobes i'm very very happy with it I feel like today has been a very productive day i am super happy with myself i've also managed to like edit everything that we did together earlier as well which is great um however i need to take a moment for the lack of eyelashes in this vlog. I don't know what happened when I did my makeup this morning, but I honestly look like I basically have zero eye makeup on my face. Like at points I was like, did I put mascara on? Like I don't know what happened, but I looked so weird in today's vlog footage to me. So <laughs> yeah, great, good times. I actually ended up clearing out a few drawers after um, I finished vlogging and like taking stuff out of the wardrobe earlier as well which I'm super happy about because a lot of the items are kind of super old loungewear items that and this is this ties in with a new rule that I've made for myself when I replace things I have to actually replace things not just buy another item of something that I already own because basically I ended up with so much so many like basics but they were like I'd replace a basic that had gotten like old and worn and was just like not particularly well made so it's just like old and grubby i almost end up hoarding the old item because i'm like oh but i'll wear it just for lounging around the house and you know what? it's disgusting so i never wear it for lounging around the house like what am i doing why did i not get rid of those before I, before i moved i i honestly don't know so new rule is if i'm going to replace something i have to actually like let go of the old item and also I need to stop buying things in like, unless it is like a vest top where you would want one in like black and one in white. I need to stop buying things in like a hundred different colours. That is, those are two new rules for myself along with the obvious, which is I am fully like not allowing myself to impulse purchase anymore. No late night shopping, no nothing like that. Because I tend to, in the evenings, I tend to be feel not be because sometimes i think my creativity is questionable but i tend to feel more creative and more inspired and therefore i end up buying things i end up just buying more but actually if i just waited and thought the purchase through i probably wouldn't end up with so much so a few new wardrobe rules for myself because um as much as i don't need to clear out as often now as I did back in the day, I still would like to be doing this a hell of a lot less, like so much less. The amount of stuff I have annoys me. Once I start actually spending time in that room and like rejigging my wardrobe, organizing things, I just hate myself. So yeah, watch this space. I feel like this is the start of a new wardrobe system. I think I maybe have finally hit that point where I just would rather have like less but more quality pieces. So that's, I don't know, that's how I'm feeling today and how I've been feeling for like quite a while now, really. My styling content isn't going anywhere, but in terms of like my actual wardrobe, definitely, I am definitely leaning more in that direction so yeah i'm just i'm very happy to say i feel like i've had a bit of a mental breakthrough and i feel like things are a bit more organized and that feels really good to me i also i'm just feeling good at the moment like i don't know what this dance is but i've been overthinking way less recently it's actually making vlogging and editing so much easier as well i'm super super happy about it i just there's less overthinking going on in my brain and I'm just, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing, right? But long may it continue. Anyway, I am about to take my makeup off. Um, I want to be in my bed, but I have a bit more editing to do. So I'm gonna get this makeup off, get my edit, 
it done get into my bed because i miss her i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and have enjoyed going through this little mini wardrobe cleanse with me i have really enjoyed it do you know what else i also realized is how much event wear and like the glam part of my wardrobe fully like lights up my soul I don't know what to do with this little realization I've had, but by watching myself, I was like, this is where you are at your happiest. Yeah, I really do love that side of my wardrobe so, so much. Good thing we're in the season for it. So yeah, there may or may not be a little video on event wear coming up soon. But yeah, I'm gonna go now. Like I said, take the makeup off, edit the vlog, get into bed, love life, you know the vibe. But thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for all of the love on my recent videos. I appreciate you so much and I will see you guys again in my next vlog. Love you, bye.